Hey guys, John here. So the biggest question I always get when I do these courses is where can I get access to the source code? So I obviously can't upload that here on YouTube. So I've made that available for you over on BitTorrent. And along with the source code, you'll also be able to actually download the videos uh, to your computer so you can have them forever. So if for some reason something crazy happened and I decided to delete them or YouTube kicked me off of their site or whatever, it wouldn't really matter for you because you would have all the source code, you'd have all the videos, all everything essentially that I've created for the course you would have on your own computer. So I've created a link in the description where you can find that stuff over on BitTorrent. Please consider going over there, supporting me that way. I'd appreciate that. Also, please consider uh, making a donation here on YouTube using the fan funding. This is how, or one of the ways that I'm able to keep all of the videos that I'm doing and releasing here on YouTube for free by those who are able to pitching in and allowing me to do that. So please consider that. And if you need access to any of the resources that I use through everything that I do online, coding, releasing videos, etc., you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources and I have a whole slew of all sorts of different resources from hosting to different uh, tutorials and just everything over there that I use. So uh, again, johnmorrisonline.com slash resources. All right, on to the lesson. Hey, John Morris here, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to delete items from a database. Right, so again, we're going to use both MySQLi and PDO, and uh, again, as before, the PHP for this really isn't going to change, it's just our query. So we'll cover that mostly, and it's pretty straightforward. So, all right, let's go ahead and dive in. So again, we have our database details. Here we have our actual query. You'll notice the structure, overall structure is pretty the same. We do our main command, which is delete from, and then we do our table, which is objects. So we're gonna delete items from this objects uh, table, and then we have a where clause. So here we're doing where ID equals seven. I'll show you the database here in just a little bit so you know what that means. Again, uh, as with update, when you use delete, you, Again, the, 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 the normal use case, the majority of scenarios, uh, unless you want to delete every single record in a table, you're going to need a where clause. You have to have a where clause. Uh, if you just do delete from objects and don't have a where clause, it will delete every record uh, in that table. And I'll show you that. All right, so delete from this table where the ID equals seven. Again, you could use a different field besides ID. You could say maybe use post title or post name however being that uh, if you if you use a where clause based off a string especially for a delete command uh, that there's potential for uh, multiple records being deleted because you especially if you use something like a title you may have po two posts that have uh, the same title or again if you think just in terms of a like a CMS context, you may say, oh, well, I'll never have two posts that have the same title. But if you think in other terms of all the different kinds of applications that you could build, there could be a scenario if you're not using an ID here, if you're using post title or title or name or whatever, where you have two records that have the exact same uh, same value. And so if that's what you use to delete in your where clause, you could potentially uh, do something that you actually don't wanna do. That's why, again, with our databases, we always ID our databases. Uh, and then we, because that ensures that every single record is gonna have a unique ID. That's what the auto increment does uh, and, and ensures that we never have two records that have, that have the exact same ID. Okay, so then we can delete based off the ID without having to worry of a potential for deleting multiple records. All right, so again, you wanna use the ID to delete, especially delete because uh, once it's gone, it's gone. So uh, you wanna make sure that you're very careful there. All right, so that's our query. Now, again, for MySQLi, we're setting up a new instance of our object, passing in our database details, checking to see if we're connected, 
and if so, using, again, the same query command to actually run our query, All right? So we'll go ahead and head over. Actually, let's take a look at our database real quick. You'll see I added a, a couple records just because there's a few things I want to show you here, but we have our ID of seven right here, which is test six. So that's the item that we're going to delete. So we head over to our page and we refresh this. You'll see that we got uh, one returned, which means it was successful. If we come to objects, you'll see that now that record is gone. So we've successfully deleted it. All right, so pretty straightforward there. Now we'll head back over here. We'll go ahead and comment this out. And we'll take a look at the exact same thing in PDO. May seem a little redundant at this point, but I wanna make sure you understand that once you get some of these basic things set up in terms of your structure for your PHP, uh, it's actually really easy to account for all of the different scenarios that you need to account for, which are, you know, create, insert, update, delete. It's pretty easy to account for them. You're just essentially changing your MySQL query. All right, so again, we're connecting to PDO, exact same way we've been doing, saying that attribute, exact same we've been doing, and we're running the query exact same way we've been doing. The only thing that changes is that this query is now different. All right, so we're gonna go with, I believe we need five. Yep, so we're gonna delete number five. So we're gonna delete the record with an ID of five. All right, so we'll head over to our page. We'll refresh. We'll see that PDO returns us like it always does. It returns us the actual query. We'll go to our database and you can see here that number five is now gone. All right, so now we have two records left in here. So what I wanna show you is if we come to uh, our query statement and we just do delete from objects and we don't specify a where clause, this is when it's going to actually, if we refresh this, now if we come over here again, we had two records now you'll notice that it takes us to the structure because we now no longer have any records in the objects. If we try to go to the browse it, it automatically takes us back to the structure because there are no records. So that deleted all of the records. You could have two records, you could have a thousand records. If you do a delete from without anywhere cause specified, it's going to delete all records in that table. Now, that's useful to know so that you can avoid doing that when you don't want to, but it's also useful to know if you need to know how to actually delete everything inside of a table. It's a pretty simple way of doing it. There are uh, other commands you can use for dropping a table and so on and so forth, but uh, again, that's a pretty easy way to delete every record inside of a table. All right, so that is how to delete records in a database using both MySQLi and PDO. So hopefully you enjoy that and I'll talk to you later.